Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Adam with another screencast. And in this video, we are going to check out the background fetching feature of iOS 7 framework. Um, let's actually show you what exactly I'm talking about the background fetching feature. Okay. So here we go. We have an application and it's reading from a static JSON file. Okay. It has two entries with the stories, Little Red Riding Hood and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, the file is over here, which it's reading from, and this is actually on the server. So if I change the file, let's say over here, we change it, okay? And let's go ahead and send the application in the suspended mode. And now the file is updated. Now it has, instead of two stories, it has one, two, three, four, five stories. So I go ahead and I pull the application back into the foreground make it active but I still see two stories so that is not really right okay and before iOS 7 we were using this kind of thing that when we launch the app uh, or, or in the view did appear we will load or we will request the uh, service again that hey if you have any new stories or new feeds then you can tell us and we'll display it okay so the background fetching will allow you to update your app display or update or fetch the information that you're trying to fetch, which in this case are stories, but it can be anything. It can be tweets, news, uh, it can be Facebook wall postings, it can be anything that is updated live. And mostly I'm talking about news and tweets. They are updated live and they are updated uh, very, you know, very fast quite often. So you can use iOS 7 background fetching feature to update your app in the background so you don't really have to load and show the loading sign while the user waits. So let's go ahead and see how this can be done. The first thing you need to realize is that it all happens in the set minimum background fetch interval method of the application, UI application. And you set it to UI application background fetch interval minimum. If you don't do that, I think it's set to none by default, so it's not going to fire anything. Now, when you set it to UI application background fetch interval minimum, it's going to fire using some algorithm that Apple has designed, uh, uh, perform fetch with completion handler. And this is a method that will get invoked and will get fired, uh, you know, because of uh, background fetch. Okay, and we can try to do that also. Now we are only firing, we're just checking it over here that we only fire uh, the background fetch thing. Well, not the background fetch thing, but we only invoke the popular stories with completion handler if we find the stories view, story view controller that is related to our app. I mean, my own app, but it's not for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see first of all what is inside the JSON file. We have two stories. Okay, um, let's go ahead and run the app. So we are still going to, to see two stories, okay? And if we need to simulate this, if we need to simulate the background fetch, you can go to debug and you can say simulate background fetch. And here we go. So now it's simulating a background fetch and you can see that it actually fires this, you know? It fires this method and you can go in it so this method is very important. Perform fetch with completion handler because when you when the background fetch is being executed, uh, this is a method that is being called. Okay. So that's been called, and if you see over here, nothing really got changed because we didn't really update the uh, the file. Now let's go ahead and update this file. Let's see that we have some new stories. Okay. And let's go ahead and say, let me actually first see what is over here. Let's go ahead and put it in the background and simulate background fetch. And here we go. It goes it again. And let's go ahead and bring it up. And here we go. See? So all of these things were already added. Okay? And of course, if you go over here, you will get this method that uh, the delegate perform fetch with completion handler but the completion handler was never called and that is inside this method 
over here, we need to tell the background fetching that okay, either the it has it has errored out, or we got some new data, or there was no data available. So we have to tell the background fetch uh, that there something has happened, and you need to, we need to fire it. So here we go. So we copy some code over here. So we're telling the completion handler over here, if the stories count is different, then we are saying that, okay, we got some new data and we're gonna say, okay, we got some new data. If uh, it's not different, then, uh, you know, we're saying, okay, no data available. And of course, this is just for the demo purposes. Usually you can send something from the, um, from the server saying that, that you have new entries or not. And the last thing that you need to check is for the error because you have to tell the background fetch that some sort of an error has actually happened so that it's not going to schedule it again. Uh, the scheduling part that how often does it schedule, it really depends, okay? And that is uh, Apple decides that, that how often does it schedule. Let's say if I add a new story, Lord of the Rings, Okay. Um, actually, unfortunately, I have to recompile this, rerun this, so it will. It's gonna f fill it up also, anyways. Um, let's go ahead and pull it back and copy this. Lord of the Rings two, Lord of the Rings three, and save it. And then we're going to go over here to debug and say simulate background fetch. And you can see that it's simulating background fetch. We're going to open it up. Oops. So we have three over here. Why did it do that? Let's go ahead and say uh, simulate background fetch. Maybe it errored out or something. All right, let's see what's going on. The previous count is six let's go ahead completion handler we don't really have any error so we got eight objects and let's go ahead and see what's going on completion handler so it does say new data here we go I guess at that time it didn't fire but you know that's what I'm saying that the background fetch is actually uh, there's an algorithm from Apple that schedules it that when it will be called or not okay and so here we go so we have the data now we have all the things are loaded uh, before in the background when the app was actually in the suspended state and uh, and that is that is the cool feature of the background fetch the other thing you can also do is you can edit the scheme and you can say that the app was launched due to the background effect and that will launch the app if even if the app is not running in the background it's not not running anywhere it's not even in a suspended mode then you can check that particular feature also okay but this is just the uh, you know the tip of the iceberg because there's so many different things you can do with background fetch even in my own application daily five I'm using background fetch uh, to basically find out if you have any new tasks for the other day uh, and it updates it's updates the batch number that's pretty cool right so that's pretty much it uh, I hope you like this video and uh, if you do want to support the Adam Sharp channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do have any requests, just uh, comment on the channel and uh, I will schedule some of the more, uh, you know, if you request uh, into more videos. Thank you very much and you have a great day.